You may think the stock market seems like a solid path to early retirement, offering a way to grow our money over time. But the popular advice of dumping your cash into index funds might not be the golden ticket to retiring early that everyone thinks it is. Now don't get me wrong, index funds are like the comfy sneakers of the investment world. Reliable, easy to wear, and they get the job done without much fuss. They track a specific index, like the S&P 500, and give you a little slice of the whole market. Sounds great for a steady, long-haul approach to wealth. But if your dream is to say goodbye to the 9-to-5 grind sooner rather than later, going with the flow and sticking solely to index funds might not cut it. Why? There are plenty of reasons for that. The first reason among them is lack of downside protection. So here's the thing. The stock market is a bit of a roller coaster. It's had its ups and downs, and while it tends to go up over the long haul, it can give you quite the jolt with its dips and drops along the way. When you're invested in an index fund, like one that follows the S&P 500, you're riding along with the whole market. That means when the market's up, you're up. But when it's down, well, you're feeling every bump. Now, for those looking to retire early, a big market downturn can be a real spanner in the works. Sure, there are ways to try and hedge or protect your investments, like shorting S&P 500 futures contracts or buying put options against the index. But these strategies can be pretty complicated. They're like trying to walk forward and backward at the same time, and you might not end up moving much at all. And often, they're just a band-aid on a bullet wound, a temporary fix that doesn't solve the bigger issue. So the lack of downside protection is a biggie. It means your journey to early retirement could get a lot bumpier if you're relying solely on index funds as you're fully exposed to the whims of the market. And if it takes a nosedive, your retirement plans might have to be put on hold. The next reason is all about the lack of reactive ability. When you're all in on index funds, you're pretty much stuck riding the wave of whatever the index does. That's because index investing is like setting your boat to sail with the wind without ever adjusting the sails. Sure, it's easy, but what if you see a storm coming or spot clear skies in another direction? If a stock within that index starts to get too pricey, more than it's really worth, it ends up having a bigger say in how the index performs. And that's exactly when sharp investors would usually think about pulling back, maybe selling off a bit of that stock to avoid a potential drop. But if you're solely in index funds, you can't make those moves. Even if you've got a hunch or solid evidence that a stock is about to soar or plummet, your hands are tied. You're stuck with the good, the bad, and the ugly of the index, without the flexibility to act on your insights. The lack of reactive ability means you could miss out on prime opportunities to protect your investments or capitalize on market movements. For those of us dreaming of retirement not just on time but ahead of schedule, being stuck in the passenger seat isn't ideal. We want to be in the driver's seat, able to swerve away from potholes and speed towards the shortcuts. The third reason index funds might not be the ticket to early retirement is the total lack of control over what you're actually investing in. When you buy into an index fund, it's a bit like ordering a set meal at a restaurant. You get what's advertised, no substitutions or special orders. The fund mirrors a specific index, which means you own a little piece of every company in that index, whether you like them or not. Got a favorite company that you believe in, maybe because of their stellar management, awesome products, or top-notch customer service? Or perhaps there's one you've got a good gut feeling about. Well, if they're not in the index, tough luck. You can't add them to your index fund investment. On the flip side, there might be companies in that index that you're not too thrilled about supporting. Maybe you're all about protecting the environment, and there's a company in there that's notorious for pollution. Or perhaps there are businesses involved in practices or industries you don't agree with on a moral level. With an index fund, you don't get to pick and choose. You're essentially voting with your dollars for every company in the mix, for better or worse. This lack of control over your holdings can be a real deal-breaker for those of us aiming for early retirement through savvy investing. It's about more than just making money, it's also about aligning your investments with your values and beliefs, and having the flexibility to back the companies you truly believe in. Plus, being able to invest directly in those hidden gems or companies you have a strong conviction about 
can potentially lead to greater returns than what the broad market offers. The fourth reason to rethink parking all your retirement hopes in index funds is the limited exposure to different investment strategies. See, the investment world is like a vast ocean, teeming with different strategies that savvy investors have sailed to success. But when you're tied to an index fund, it's a bit like cruising on a giant liner on a set course. Sure, it's steady and gets you across the ocean, but you miss out on the chance to navigate through potentially more lucrative or interesting waters that align better with your financial goals and risk appetite. Index funds, by their nature, are designed to mimic the performance of a market index, like the S&P 500, which includes a broad swath of companies. While this offers diversification, it's a bit like spreading your bets across the entire field in a race, rather than picking the horses you truly believe have the best chance to win. And here's a thought to chew on. Research shows that diversification benefits can be achieved with as few as 30 well-chosen stocks, not necessarily the 500 you'd be tied into in an S&P 500 index fund. By doing your homework, you might uncover value stocks ripe for the picking, growth stocks with potential to soar, or other specialized investments that could significantly boost your portfolio's performance. Creating a hand-picked, more focused portfolio allows you to tailor your investments not just for diversification, but for potential outperformance based on your unique insights, goals, and risk tolerance. This approach can offer a more strategic, personalized path to wealth accumulation, potentially accelerating your journey to financial independence and early retirement. It's about not settling for the broad one-size-fits-all strategy of index investing, but instead actively seeking out opportunities that could lead to better risk-adjusted returns tailored to your financial landscape. And now, the final reason to reconsider index funds if early retirement is on your horizon is the element of personal satisfaction in your investment journey. Investing isn't just about the numbers and the returns. It's also a deeply personal journey that can be full of ups and downs. Sure, going with index funds might seem like setting your investments on cruise control, avoiding the highs and lows of stock picking. But here's the thing. Even with index funds, market turmoil can still send you on a roller coaster of emotions. You might find yourself glued to the market news, fretting over every dip and turn, much like you would with individual stocks. And then there's another aspect to consider, the thrill of the hunt and the satisfaction of making savvy investment choices. Picking individual stocks or following a more hands-on investment strategy can be incredibly rewarding. When you do your homework, make a call and see it pay off, there's a sense of achievement and satisfaction that's hard to beat. It's about being actively engaged with your money and making decisions that can lead to success. Investing in index funds might shield you from some of the volatility of individual stock picks, but it also dampens that personal connection and satisfaction you get from actively managing your investments. For many of us dreaming of early retirement, part of the excitement comes from navigating our own path through the financial markets, learning and adapting as we go. If you're looking at boosting your income, you might want to consider investing in dividends. Watch this video next to find out the quickest path to $1,000 a month with dividend investing.